Pisces, it is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning into your January reading, where I take a look at the energy surrounding your sign to see what is coming in for you guys. So this is for Pisces placements. This can also resonate for cross watchers of Pisces, all right, if you're connected to a Pisces. So let's take a look at two themes for you guys for the month of January, two themes coming through for you that will uh, play out or be significant in the month of January. So let's see. Happy New Year. Also, guys, relaxation. Nice. What else do we have for Pisces? Okay. And we have friendship. Okay. So you're building bonds with someone or like you're strengthening a bond or you're like building bonds. It could be like someone um, new, like that you meet at work or something. Um, this person feels like a, uh, somebody who helps you relax. Um, there could be somebody in your life you're very close to that helps you kind of get over anxiety. Um, somebody who feels like they're, they're a feel good friend, somebody really good for you. So let's see how this plays out in the tarot. Um, you could go on a like a small little vacation with a friend. It feels like a little weekend getaway type thing. All right, somebody's going skiing. And then there's energies uh, for those of you going to just like somewhere local. But like it, it has like hot tubs and all types of um, relaxation, maybe a spa or something. All right, a spa date but with a friend for sure. All right. So let's take a look, Pisces, at what's going on in January for you guys. Okay. We have the fool that flipped out in the reverse. All right. Could be connected to dealing with a Pisces. I mean, I'm sorry, an Aquarius. We have the four of cups. What do we have for Pisces in January? Five of pentacles. Okay. I feel like, um, Ace of Wands, it's your friends who are trying to maybe pull you out of some sort of like emotional slump. This could be about a relationship, um, some relationship troubles, maybe a breakup. Okay, King of Pentacles here. So the Chariot, yeah, I feel like there's going to be some movement for you in January, possibly even travel, but definite progress in movement. It feels like you kind of go through a period where there is a like a, um, some bad moods or just feelings of, of, of maybe loss and discontent, maybe just wanting to escape, being a little disconnected from everything around you. But you get some ideas. Some of you... um may have like some money challenges in the month of January, but what looks like happens is that you invest in an idea of yours or you put this money into someone, maybe yourself, but it's almost like you could pay someone to help you figure out your finances, like an accountant or something. Some of you could be saving for a car, the chariot. You have to like um, sort of forego more luxurious uh, purchases, outings, trips, but it does feel like you still get a little bit of that in. Let's go ahead and break this down. So the fool in reverse, um, energetically, it feels like you're, you're reluctant to start over in your life. The new year is hitting some of you hard. Let's just face it. And the reality is with the fool in the reverse, some of you are just not wanting to move on um, from something that you've gotten attached to, something that you've grown used to, right? I do feel like this is where your friends or a specific special friend comes in, help comes into play. They're going to help you uh, relax. They're going to help you get over things. They're going to be there for you. Um, you have like uh, somebody here supporting you. So let's take a look at the full in the reverse. What is this about? It's the page of swords. Okay. Or the princess of swords in this deck. So it looks like you, you're like, there's information here or you're, you're finding out things or you're researching things that feel like it's keeping you maybe stuck. All right. Something is keeping you from moving on. I'm almost picking up, um, and like over, uh, focusing on someone or over focusing on a situation. Let's see what the princess of swords is about. You're trying to understand why something happened in January. I feel like that's how you start the month, trying to understand how or why something happened. The empress here. 
there could be like, there's definitely like reluctant new beginning. Someone could be hearing about a pregnancy or pregnant and doesn't want to be. It could be like bad timing type thing. There is a uh, Gemini, a uh, Taurus and Libra energy here when it comes to maybe a mother child relationship. Something about a child conversations with with the uh, communications with with your child here with the empress thank you the queen of wands okay so there could be like some words exchange between two feminine energies all right with the fool in the reverse for what those are clarifying there's a situation somebody doesn't want to leave from. They're comfortable in it. That could be the Empress energy. You have to figure out which one you are, but somebody could be wanting to exchange words with you. I have another feminine energy, Queen of Cups. This is technically you here. Um, or you're hearing about communication between two people. Maybe these people are gossiping about you. And you're like, not again. <laughs> you know, it could be a Taurus Libra. There could be a fire sign involved, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could find out from a friend that there is gossip about you. Let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Um, some of you don't even want to like think about money issues in January. What's the Four of Cups about? It's the Knight of Swords. Okay. You could be rejecting a knight of swords. A knight of swords could be rejecting you. There's a severe struggle to move forward in January. Six of swords right here. There's some um setbacks, okay, when it comes to moving on from something. Somebody either is having a hard time, like there's a change in a relationship and somebody's having a hard time dealing with that. And, and I feel like they're vocal. They're making it known what's going on with this night, night of swords, the emperor. Okay. So this is a very strong masculine energy here. It's the masculine energy that's changed. Okay. This person has changed. Um, you don't like the changes they've made. This is could This could be why you, you're reluctant to start over. You want somebody to be who they used to be when it comes to you. And I feel like this person has drastically changed. Um, this is somebody who feels like they are, um, seeking like a sense of control in their life. And, and one of the ways they have that control is to maybe like keep things from you with the four of cuts, uh, push you away way. We have the high priestess, which is your energy. I feel like something is telling you this person is changed and they're not going to go back to the way they used to be. Aries here. There's something about um, this person. You could have like, you could exchange words with them. There's a little bit of argument energy with that, where it could feel like this person is not budging on, on their opinion about something or on a direction they're choosing to take. The five of pentacles. Let's see what's going on you don't need money to start a business is a message that i'm getting from for you guys you don't need money to do something here to start a business seven of swords with the five of pentacles there's something about theft in january this is quite literally theft feeling robbed, feeling something taken or stolen from you. What's the seven of swords with the five of pentacles? It's the five of cups and you're upset about it and justice. So this could turn into a legal matter if it hasn't already. These are pretty clear. There is something um, possibly illegal going on or something that could require like ugh, the law. And so the five of pentacles feels like somebody may be trying to repay something that they took, that they stole here, but the five of cups, so somebody may have taken something or stolen something from you. Um, this can uh, resonate if this is a Pisces that has done this to someone, but the five of cups with that seven of swords feels like somebody is regretful that they did this. So somebody is very regretful about their behaviors here, but what I'm getting now that I look at the energies, this person is refusing to accept an apology. This person could actually be being really, really harsh um, as far as like punishment goes. Somebody may even get the law involved with justice. Uh, what's this five of cups? 
somebody's definitely sorry for lying or something that they did three of wands um but i do feel like there's energies that if this uh apology or this regret is met with deaf ears somebody's just going to move on they have no choice at this point but to move on so pisces the energy is the, so you have what the empress the emperor so there could be a couple in this connection. You also have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords, okay? So there could be a friend, two friends for you um, that are keeping you like somewhat grounded, trying to stay positive, uh, keep you moving on from something that could feel like a loss, but it could really be some sort of motivation to help you move forward in your life and to achieve your goals. Uh, there's definitely something about lies, Uh learning about lies here what's the um ace of wands but i did get the message that you don't need money or more money to start that business idea that you have there's something you that could make you a lot of money ace of wands <laughs> ace of wands king of pentacles that's kind of random and all this other stuff but there's a, a message here you don't need the money to do that Someone could feel like somebody stole their future. So took your spot or took someone's place. Someone doesn't need someone anymore. That type of vibe is coming through. What's the Ace of Wands? It could be a job situation where somebody they hired they already hired someone else. Yeah, because this actually looks like um you you get a new job or something new that comes in right after that. Yeah, so let's break this down. Let's go back to this energy. So the five of pentacles, seven of swords, five of cups, three of wands feels a lot like maybe some some trouble at work or trouble um, in some area of your life where it feels like you were like somebody replaced someone or someone took someone else's spot. And so it was kind of done in it. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me it was kind of done in an underhanded way with that seven of swords there and while the person who did it may be very regretful the energy is telling you to keep moving don't like wallow in this and don't seek like any more um, understanding or even clarity here um, be that's probably because you will have something new come into your life in january that is going to be about money so you have a new yeah six of pentacles invest in yourself invest in your business because that is where the excitement is coming in. I feel like you do have something that you are going to focus on at some point in the month that is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of love. There's an opportunity for self-love and self-healing. You have to be careful of negative thoughts and self-limiting beliefs. But if you do make an investment in yourself, I feel like it's going to pay off very quickly here. Let's see why we have this King of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. What's the seven of wands with the king of pentacles? Because there was some, yeah, five of swords. Because there was something about like theft, stealing, lying or something here. Somebody does feel like they're protecting their, their resources. The seven of wands with the five of swords feels a little bit like an attack on or coming from a king of pentacles energy. Somebody that you may, um, have had a business with, someone that you could share like, like kids with or something. But the energy is that this person is very defensive. This person is also someone who at this point um feels like they are not very kind with you for some reason what's the five of swords with that seven of wands this person is going to be very mean um the knight of cups they're protecting their feelings I feel like you've had a rough time with this individual. And so they're protecting their feelings. They could feel like they need to protect themselves from you. The Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. And so something strongly is advising you to move on. This is the second time the devil has been behind something good. The Ace of Cups had the devil behind it as well. And the Chariot has the devil behind it. And so I feel like um, you, you have to be mindful of telling yourself negative things because Somebody here feels like they are determined to move on at all costs, even if that means hurting you. And I feel like the energy is is kind of a protective one. Um, having this person kind of push you away to push you to where you belong with the chariot here, not physically pushing you away, right? It doesn't have to come to that. This can be like some sort of fight. 
Just, you know, I wouldn't be doing my duty if I didn't tell you that. The seven of wands with the five of swords, heavy fighting energy, but somebody feels like they're standing up for themselves against you, or you could feel like you're standing up for yourself against this person. Either way, it's very clear. Friendships are going to be important to you because somebody that you trusted, somebody that you could have had a relationship with, this person can no longer trust you or you can no longer trust them. There's been a betrayal. And so keeping your real friends close is very important. In the month of January. So Pisces, that is what I have for you guys. Happy New Year. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out thesunsage.com. Link in the description box.